Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about image compositing. First, let's load the um, countries database. I'll import a fusion table, which has a countries database for all um, countries around the world. And this is the fusion table ID. Uh, usually you have FT um, ID, uh, so if, if you wanna call a fusion table, uh, EE feature collection, that's how you call a fusion table. So I'll name it, uh, you know, countries as a variable. And now I imported my countries um, boundaries data for all countries of the world. And because that's a lot of data, I'll have to subset or filter um, a, a certain country. In this case, uh, for example, I'll um, select Thailand. Uh, and um, uh, declare variable uh, Thailand and map this uh, to display a map. You uh, have to um, declare map dot add layer and a bracket and call Thailand um, this subsetted data and um, I'll call countries and you know filter. Uh, that's how I um, subsetted the Thailand data. Once I have Thailand data, then I will define uh, a parameter, visualization parameter. I'll just give it a color code, uh, grayscale, and then name it Thailand, which should show up here on the layer. Let's run this bit of code. Okay, so now the, it, it's dis it has displayed, but because we have not defined a zoom, um, a zoom uh, layer, it's not um, focusing into our steady area. So I'll define map center, center object, and I'll call Thailand. That means it will um, it will focus to that steady area. Okay, I'll just define the zoom level to eight and run it. We should be able to visualize the Thailand steady area now. Excellent. Okay, so now here we go. So now we have um, imported um, World Countries database and subsetted the Thailand um, boundary. And the next thing what we want to do is um, import a satellite image using an image collection. Uh, in this case, we'll be using the Sentinel satellite data, Sentinel-2. This is the image um, collection ID that I'll be using. Um, and I'll filter the image collection. So I will um, use 2014 to 2017 data, nearly um, four years of data. And because it's a global data, I will also need to filter it by um, a steady area. So I'll just provide that steady area so that it will only um, mask the, the, the Thailand Sentinel imagery. Um, and lastly, I will, because um, it is an optical uh, data, um, you know, the Sentinel imagery, um, especially the optical you know bands there there uh, there are some cloud contamination we need to define a cloud um, pixel percentage that means uh, if if the image is uh, cloud contaminated uh, more than 20 percent disregard that image we're not using it so that's how we're gonna run this uh, cloud uh, filtering algorithm uh, so 20 percent um, cloud contamination so now we have um, already imported our, Im our image. So if I um, run that, it should import that image, but because we didn't display it yet, so we have nothing to display now. So the, mind you that this is uh, nearly uh, four year of, you know, data. Uh, it's a lot of data. Um, so, and there's also cloud contamination issue, um, and there are other um, atmospheric, you know, contamin contamination like, um, you know, particles and 
um, other atmospheric contamination or scattering. Um, so if so, what image compositing does is it, it it generates that entire image collection into a single image by um, using uh, various statistics. For example, in this case, I will use a median. In 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 your case, you might need to use maximum, a mean, or a minimum. So let's just run a median algorithm in this image collection here. So what it does is just for every pixel, it will run um, the median over the entire time series starting from to 2014 to 2017 um, for every you know weekly image uh, from the Sentinel sensor. Okay, we have um, run the composite algorithm now. Let's define a visualization parameter so that we have a pretty nice looking um, Sentinel image. So I'll define these params and define the bands. I'll use the 432. Um, and uh, let's uh, display the map. So map dot add layer, uh, and then I'll um, call the composited data, which is uh, using the median algorithm, and clip it by Thailand to get a pretty uh, neat uh, imagery. And then um, call the visualization parameter here, which I already defined, and let's name it as median value composite, which will um, lead uh, see it in the layers um, uh, menu and center map center object actually i already defined that but um there's no uh problem defining it defining it again um so if i run that we we should be able to see um a pretty uh nice looking sentinel uh image so mind you if you were plotting each imagery as it is you would not get a pretty uh, clear um, and nice looking map but because we have done a compositing using median statistics, we'll have a pretty um, nice looking clear um, Sentinel imagery over the entire Thailand. Let's look. And since it's as a Sentinel imagery, um, it's a high resolution imagery, it takes time to process that. So you might uh, need to take a little while. Okay, so now uh, we have our um, composite imagery here. Um, so the Sentinel uh, composite, uh, pretty um, clear. One thing is we've done a, cl a cloud removal um, algorithm. We ran that algorithm. The second thing is we're just calculating the median um, statistics over an entire image collection. What it does is it, it just... Uh, get rid of like some outlier image with cloud contamination and things like that. So it will provide us the, the, the median um, image. If there are some outlier, um, you know, image with cloud contamination or cloud shadow, then it would remove those pixels. That's why we're getting this um, clear, uh, nice looking um nice looking sentinel imagery because of you know compositing we have done we've done compositing to this entire image collection